It's all about the yellow covers. Let's check them out. What's going on? 22 here showing off my top 10 yellow covers in my PC. Now this is a tag challenge that started going around. I believe with Metarog. Metarog tagged Trev the Shipping Guru. Trev tagged TM Nerdy and TM Nerdy tagged me. Well then also Fanboy Prime got tagged and tagged Bottom Tier Collector, my fellow Statesman Southern brother. And then he tagged me as well. So links to all these awesome guys will be down in the description below. So please go check it out and go check out their yellow covers as well. But let's show off my top 10 yellow covers. Let's start off with a book that y'all have seen before, at least on my channel. This is Green Hornet Fights Crime number 38 from the Golden Age. Awesome yellow cover. My very first Golden Age book. Number nine is this awesome The New Flash, number one. This has got the first appearance of Wally West taking over the mantle of Flash in his own series then. Awesome book with a really cool background, like the Jets, like the Flash, running, doing his thing. Let's kick it old school one more time with this Justice League of America, number seven. Got a cool, wacky yellow cover. This one, I'm honestly really surprised, has not been shown yet. At least, I haven't seen it. And Fanboy Prime, I thought, took it from me. But he didn't. He showed that awesome other um, Daredevil yellow cover. But this one right here is awesome. I love it. It is Daredevil 189. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Death of Stick. But still, an amazing yellow cover. I'm cheating a little bit on this one, okay? But it's worth it. I promise you. It's worth it. This is going to be Silver Coin 1 and 2. Alright? And these are the B covers. So here's one. And then here is two. Just saying. Awesome. Awesome. Connecting cover set right there. What is a top 10 challenge from 22 without some kind of fried pie, second in Charles Books and Million variant? It's not. So, luckily I had one, one yellow cover uh, that was fried pie, second in Charles, whatever. Um, this is Super Sons number one. Now, fun fact. Uh, when it comes to DC books and fried pie... You may be asking, you know, where's the logo? On all the Marvel books, you see a logo on the front. On the indie books, you see a logo on the front. DC, you kind of have to know what the Fried Pie variant covers are. Their logo's always on the back. So here's the Super Sons. And then on the back is the Fried Pie variant. So you pretty much have to know what it is to actually find the DC ones. For the longest time, I didn't think that DC even had fried pie variants, but they do. Lots of times, I may be an Iron Man fan, but Iron Man does not have the best of covers. He always looks the damsel in distress on his covers, I'm not going to lie. However, this right here is a pretty awesome Iron Man cover that's also yellow. Iron Man number 302. Awesome book with Venom on the cover, and just all that yellow in the background from the Repulsor Blast, Iron Man's suit. Really, really cool cover. Next book up is a variant cover, but an awesome one. And it is X-Men number 11. This is the Unknown Comics variant done by Sabine Rich. And it's just, I don't know, a lot of yellow. And I think it's awesome. I'm pretty positive I have showed this one off. I want to say there was a yellow cover challenge a few years back. And this was like one of them. But whenever somebody sits there and says yellow covers, this is one of the first covers that comes to mind. And this is Neon Future number four. Now, Neon Future is a Steve Aoki project. Steve Aoki is a musician. You may enjoy his work, but this cover right here is just freaking amazing. For those of you that have been watching my channel, surely you know what this last book is going to be because I just got it in, just released a video on it, and it's an amazing yellow cover. So, without further ado... We've got Green Lantern Annual 2021. This is the David Nakayama variant. I just got this back. 
signed by David Nakayama. And I freaking love this cover. Amazing yellow cover. Channels that I am going to tag for this challenge as well is going to be Brian LCS. Yes, the godfather himself, president of the Comic Book Community Awards. Be on the lookout for that as well. Also going to go out there and tag Bryant over at I Have Comic Issues. He has taken up on open tag challenges before, so I figured it would be proper to go ahead and tag him in this one. And then my other fellow statesman Southern brother, Mr. Akins, with what's on the comic rack. Show us some of your yellow covers. Anybody else that I have not tagged and you want to join in, please use me. It is an open tag from here out for me. So if you want an excuse, if you want a reason, if you want somebody to have tagged you, I tagged you. I want to see all the yellow covers that everybody has, so you are more than welcome to use my name. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can find me on a podcast every Monday called Comically Comics Podcast. New episodes drop on Google, Apple, Spotify, and Overcast. We also have a YouTube channel as well, and the new episodes drop there as well too. Comically Comics Podcast every Monday. Go check it out. You can also find me on Instagram, eBay, and Shortbox at 22 underscore comics. Once again, thank y'all so much for watching, and as always, y'all have a good one.